Hello, my name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for SAT. We have been solving SAT grammar questions out of this book here, the official SAT study guide. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 469. Please turn to page 469 in lesson in exam number 2. And today is our lesson number 6. <coughs> Let's see what we can do there. As you turn the page on page 470, you will see that this particular type of questions that you're looking at end at number 11. Starting with number 12, there's a different type of questions there. And that tells you that the scale of difficulty for this particular type of question goes only from 1 through 11. Only from 1 through 11. Which means the first page that you see there are easy questions. On the next page, as you turn the page, the 11 questions that you see on the next, uh, the remaining of the 11 questions that you see on page number 470, the first columns are medium and the second column on that page is hard. And as we get to find page number 471, we will encounter a new type of question and the scale of difficulty will begin all over again as I always remind you. Let's get going. Enough of the talk. So these are easy questions, straightforward questions. Let's see what we can do. Confident that she was fully prepared, Ellen decided to spend the night before the, before the recital. Ellen decided to spend the night before the recital reading and relaxing. Reading and relaxing. relaxing. So she decided to spend the night doing what? She's decided to spend the night reading and relaxing. And then he goes on to say, but not to be practicing. As you can see, this sentence needs help. This is not this is not a proper grammar. So how did she decide to spend the night? She decided to spend the night reading and relaxing. This is a noun, this is a noun. We need a noun here also. Get rid of this part, get rid of this part, and simply put in rather, rather than practicing. And now it reads better. She decided to spend the night reading and relaxing rather than practicing before the big recital. And that's answer choice D. As I said, this is a straightforward question, very simple question because on a scale of 1 through 11, this was number 1. Let's do number 2. Number two let's see what we have. So, Ronald, winner of the Nobel Prize, winner of the Nobel Prize, and who identified the disease. So this is how the sentence reads. Okay, as I always tell you, in a, if you've been, if you watched the first five uh, lessons, you know by now. As I always remind you, learn how to concentrate on the juicy bits and learn how to recognize the boring bits, the irrelevant bits. There's a lot of stuff that they give you in the sentence. And the purpose of that stuff that they give you in the sentence is purely to fill up space. They don't want to give you a very short sentence because if they were to give you a very short, very straightforward sentence, the mistake would be too glaring. The mistake would be too, too obvious. They don't want the mistakes to be too obvious. So to bury the mistakes in the sentence, they give you stuff. For which I use a technical term, they give you crap. Learn to recognize what to throw away. Do you understand? And you have to do it with speed. Here's, here's a juicy bit that we're interested in. The sentence reads like this. It says, the winner of the Nobel Prize and who identified the disease? To which you will say, what the hell? The winner of the Nobel Prize, get rid of and and who. The winner of the Nobel Prize identified the disease. That's it, you're done. That's what we're looking for. Oh, I forgot to tell you this thing. And again, if you, been, if you have watched day one through five, you, you know by already by now, which I forgot to tell you in the first, first question as we did. Always cover your answer choices. I remember just just now I remembered it because I was about to say lift your hand now and look for one answer choice that comes closest to what we just said here. 
look for look for NASA choice that come closest to it and that's what that's what reminded me that I hadn't tell you up until now to cover the answer choices always make sure when you're doing these grammar questions to have your answer choices covered do not look at the answer choices until you know what it is that you're looking for so now we are ready lift your hand and pick one answer choice that comes closest to it that's it and that will be see we got rid of this two words and we just are left with identify that's all and that's answer choice that's answer choice E that's it number three number three traveling through the traveling through and I can never pronounce this word here uh, this park oh boy the scenery of the waterfall and the granite peaks and again the scenery of the waterfall and this and this and that we are not interested in we are only interested in the scenery the scenery which we photographed was beautiful this is the bits we are interested in the fact that they were traveling through it and the fact that they described it in a little bit more detail the scenery of the waterfall and this and this and that we are not interested in that the only thing that interests us is this part the scenery which we which we photographed which which we photographed was beautiful now it makes it very simple very easy to see quickly how to fix it if, I, if we had to fix it if we had to improve this sentence we will simply say the scenery which we photographed was beautiful this is this is awkward we how about we how about we photographed photographed the beautiful scenery that's it we're done it's so saying the scenery which we photographed was beautiful very awkward very ridiculous way of saying we photographed the beautiful scenery that's it we're done lift your hand and pick one one answer twice that captures that gist that captures that that essence of it do you understand that comes closest to it and again, we are not going to read answer choice A because answer choice A always repeats whatever was stated in the sentence. So there is no point wasting your time reading A. Just skip it. Because we already concluded that A is no good. B says, the waterfall and granite peaks were beautiful. We photo oh, this is ridiculous. C says, we photographed the, beauty, the, we photographed the beautiful scenery. Oh, there you go. We photographed the beautiful scenery. There you go. We photographed the beautiful scenery. The answer is C. The answer is C. Our job, the whole point of doing this question, practicing these questions, all 10 exams. There are 10 exams in this book. This is the book that I just showed you. It has 10 real exams. We're going to go through all 10 of these exams. Today is, today is exam number 2. We're going to go through all 10 of these exams. And the purpose is very simple. The point, the purpose, the goal is to be able to recognize, is to be able to master how to recognize the juicy bits and how to throw away the irrelevant stuff, the mumbo jumbo, the crap as, 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 the, as we would like to call it, the technical term. And that comes through practice, you understand? That's all. Because sometimes people are very timid. They're, 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 but timid wasn't the word I wanted to use. We'll, learn, we'll come to this word in a second. They're, 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 they're checking out. They say, well, should I throw it away? It might be important. But well, that comes through practice. The, the confidence that you need that comes through practice. That's the number four. The poet. Again, you see, as I'm reading it, I stop. I, I stop reading it as soon as you hear silence from me. That means it's mumbo jumbo. I'm not interested in that part. I'm not. I don't really give a give an f for whether he's an Iranian or whether he wrote an epic thing. I'm not interested in any of that. We are only interested in the grammar of the sentence. Do you understand? I'm very, I'm very touched that he's Iranian, I'm very touched that he wrote an epic poem, but I really could care less. Do you understand? The poet, with his purpose being to recount, oh my god, the poet composed the Iranian, the Iranian national epic in a, composed, that's it, the poet composed with his purpose being to recount 
the history. Let's see what we can do. This is the part we have to concentrate on. This is the part that is uh, that is underlined. Let's see what we can do. With his purpose being to recount. Oh, jeez. The poet composed. Let's put down the poem here to make it easy. The poet composed the poem. With his purpose to, with his purpose being to recount. No, 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 Jesus. The poet composed the poem. This is all nonsense. This is all nonsense. This is this is good enough. The poet composed the poem to recount the history. That's it. We are done. Get rid of this word. With his purpose being get rid of this thing. We are just looking for to recount. Why did he write the poem? To recount the history. That's all we are interested in. Big. Now lift your hands, Chua. Lift your hand now. I'm hoping that by the, uh, I'm hoping that at that point, as we, as you were reading the sentence, without my having to remind you every single time, I'm hoping that you will always cover your answer choices. Or do not look at the answer choices, as I always tell you, until you know what it is that you're looking for. You have to know the bloody thing that you're looking for before you before you look for it. Do you understand? Let's look at it. Well, there you go. That's just this makes it so easy. The answer is C. To recount. That's it. The answer is C. Get done. I will see you tomorrow when we'll do the next page. Alright? Bye now.